Hey guys, what's up? It's Dustin and welcome back to Potter Watch. So we have an exciting unboxing today. We're going to be unboxing the first ever Muggle Magic mystery box. So this was uh, put out by Danny at Muggle Magic. I noticed on Facebook about a month ago, maybe a month and a half, he posted that he was going to do 10 or 15 mystery boxes. Um, and so I grabbed one as fast as possible and I'm glad I did because they sold out quick. Uh, he sells these on Etsy. I believe this one was $50 and I think that included shipping. Uh, so I went ahead and grabbed it. You can find Muggle Magic on pretty much all social media platforms. He has a YouTube, a Facebook, Instagram, and uh, an Etsy store. So you can go on there and buy some of the things that he creates. If you don't know who Muggle Magic is, uh, like I said, his name is Danny and he does a lot of the uh, paper replicas and uh, he did the book covers for Accio that are right there and he did a couple items for Geek Gear the Cherry Wallace box um, so yeah he does really awesome paper replicas but he also does on his channel he did like a Bezoar box and the Skyving Snack boxes so uh, I'm not sure what to expect in here I'm sure it's going to be filled with a bunch of great stuff so we're going to go ahead and get into it and uh, as always, if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button uh, to get notifications on when I do post. And if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Uh, but as always, we will give you a sneak peek as to what is in the box. And there's no sneak peek at all. Uh, it's like this paper. All right, there we go. There's your sneak peek. So we see the first thing right on top. It says Weasley and Weasley products. The Skyving Snack Box, range of sweets to make you ill. Not seriously ill, just ill enough to get you out of trouble. It has the Skyving Snack Box on it. It says, save money now. Three boxes for the price of two. Free delivery all on all, all, on all outpost orders. Uh, so that is what that looks like. Uh, so just a, like a paper advertisement there for the Weasleys. And then right on top, we have a bunch of gold or black and or black and gold squigglies there are a ton of them so we're going to move those off to the side and then there's also two scrolls that we're going to move off to the side uh, it looks like a lot of prints so we'll get into that here in just a little bit uh, we're going to go through what is in the rest of the box with all of the little gold and silver worms gold and black worms just throw me off all right so the first thing i see here is it looks like a comic book strip it's two-sided and it says loony newbie non non be i'm not really sure versus cornish pixies so it's a comic book strip that you would maybe find in um, a magazine or a newspaper or a comic book um but we see there there's a cornish pixie right there in the corner eating a banana and then uh, the front is more like action packed and the back has actual words on it. I'm not going to make you sit here and listen to me read it all, but this is what it looks like. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, I'll put a link to my Instagram in the video or in the description of the video, and I'll post better pictures of all of these on there so you can see exactly what it is better than a view like this. So um, yeah, check out my Instagram for my personal. It is uh, Potter Watch. Um, but yeah, I'll post better pictures of all of this stuff there. So that was item number two. Item number three here says um, product catalog, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, and it says fun for everyone. Uh, so you can see the Weasley logo there. And then around the top, it just says Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, um, delivered by Alpost 24 seven. And then on the inside, it is their products. So Jinx Off, and then there's Weasley's Best Seller, so Custard Pies, um, Boomtastic Bomb. The next page is again more Weasley's Best Sellers, so that is what it looks like there. It is Decoy Detonators, we have the Rubber Chicken, we have Weather in a Bottle, we have the Fort Anglia. Next we have the Explosive. Explosive Enterprises. So here is the range of fireworks that they use to run, uh, not run Umbridge out of school, but give her a run for her money on the last day. Uh, so we have all of their fireworks. Then this one says Muggle Magic, uh, just like that hat. And then their 
uh, the haunted deck. So it's like their card tricks, I think. Um, yeah, so they, they talk about their card tricks, and I think it is... Uh, what is it? I think it's the Half-Blood Prince uh, when they are um, Perry and Ron or peeling potatoes or whatever for Miss Weasley. Uh, or maybe it's the beginning of Deathly Hallows. I'm not sure. And then the twins are going off to the village to talk to some of the Muggle girls because they want to show them their card tricks because they think it's just like magic. Uh, so this must be what they're talking about with Muggle magic there. That might actually be where Muggle magic got his name. Just picked up on that. Possibly. <laughs> All right, so next we see Wonder Witch. Uh, so that's, I think that's where they had their Pygmy Puff. They have their Love Potions. It's their uh, their line of Wonder Witch products. So they have Twilight Moonbeams, which, so Twilight Moonbeams is like a, a red or pink potion and everyone colors Amortentia red and pink, but I think it's more of like a pearlescent Mother of Gold, uh, or not Mother of Gold, Mother of Pearl Sheen, so. And then next we have buy one, get one free, you know poo. So we have a you know poo advertisement there. And then on the back, it is the same thing as we got in the front item. Uh, and it says wall stocks last at the bottom. So we have the Weasley Wizard Weezes catalog. Oh, this is cool. So then we have a what looks like a full quibbler, uh, the Xenophilius Love Goods magazine and then so it says on the front the quibbler how far will fudge go to gain gringotts raxperts unfuzz the mysteries exclusive my day with a muggle by arthur weasley page 16 and then breaking news ukraine iron belly eats owner awesome so the first thing we see here is an olivander uh, page again i'll put better pictures of all this on instagram I'm not going to make you, I'm just going to hit the highlight. So this looks like a games portion and it has a table of contents there. Um, visit Hogsmeade Village, so kind of a rundown of the shops in Hogsmeade. Um, Crumplehorn Snorkax sighting. That is a goofy looking Crumplehorn Snorkax. So there's that. We have Man Mary's Great Sea Beast. And then the article on actually how far will Fudge go to gain Gringotts. So it's all the things that you hear Luna talk about that her father says during the books and movies, essentially. So <clears throat> I can't wait to read through actually all of this and see what everything says. And how cool is it to have an actual Quibbler replica? I don't have one. Um, and it's great, great quality. So this is actually amazing. Um, I'm excited to keep this item for sure. Uh, we have more games, and I will never actually play these games. It will stay pristine. Um, Moonfrogs, Treasure, or Travesty. We have the Celestina Warbeck. Um, she is the singer in uh, Half-Blood Prince. So you're they're listening. They're at the Weasley's house uh, for Christmas, and you hear Celestina Warbeck playing... A cauldron full of hot, strong love on the uh, the radio. They're listening to it, and Mrs. Weasley loves it, and Fleur's like making fun of it. So everyone thinks she's about to kill uh, Fleur. Mrs. Weasley is. Uh, so there's an advertisement for Celestina Warbeck and the Singing Sorcerers, or this is in the Banshees. Oh, so she's the Singing Sorceress. Uh, and then we have the Serious Black article. Um, that basically says, is Sirius Black actually Stubby Boardman? It's a lady that wrote in that said he couldn't have actually killed all those muggles because he was having dinner with her. And it says he's a musical sensation. Um, so that's hilarious. Next, we have just some more games, looks like. Then we have the Rack Spurts over here. If I could turn the page. We have Ukrainian Iron Belly Eats Owner. That's what you get for having a dragon, Hagrid. Uh, Death Eaters stands for. We have the Quidditch World Cup advertisement. Uh, my day in the life, or my day with a muggle. I can't wait to read that because, well, Arthur Weasley, uh, that will just be hilarious. Uh, I just, it caught my eye. It says dishwasher right here. So uh, clearly he had a lot of fun that day. Uh, credits, and it lists, I guess, maybe who they 
where they got the articles from. And then again, we see the Skyving Snack Box uh, advertisement over here for Fred and George. And then the back side of the Quibbler. So that is an awesome replica to have. So that is the fourth or fifth item. And then it looks like we have the a little mini Marauders map. And it opens up there. And then it opens up more. Ah, it's the spoiler card. We're not going to read this until we look at the other things. We will come back to this. <clears throat> then we have our wrapped up items here. Have some paper around it. And this is what it looks like. Upside down. This is what it looks like. So it says, Dung Bombs, freshly delivered every third Friday. Ew, it's not fresh. Um, and then every pack contains a variety selected or selection of the best Weasley unlucky dip available Weasley wizard wheezes always a startling success and then it's got the skiving snack boxes over here this is probably meant to be folded in some way uh, it just looks like with the lines there um, and then this has the skiving snack boxes fever fudge fainting fancies puking pastilles and nosebleed nougat so it's blank on the back side so it's just a an advertisement print there again for the Weasleys. The Weasleys are getting some love in this box. And then we have this scroll, which is a lot of paper. So we're going to see what's in here. All right. So the first thing we have, this is difficult, is this. It is... The Daily Prophet. So, it keeps on rolling. It is winning currently. Um, life Sentence in Azkaban, Dolores Umbridge. Dolores Jane Umbridge, a former head of the Improper Use of Magic Office. So this is just the, uh, I guess after Hogwarts, she got sent to Azkaban. They probably found out she was going to choose the Unforgivable Curses. How rude. Um, but yeah, so that's the, I guess it's, this is like a, the first page of the Daily Prophet. So that is all of that. And then on the back, it has, we see Fenrir Grey back here. Terrible, terrible werewolf. It says Death Eaters at large. And then we see Kingsley Shacklebolt down here. It's going to be really hard to get like good pictures of this. But again, plug, follow me on Instagram. You'll see it there. Um, and then Hogwarts ranks third on global, or of all global magical schools. So this is a huge thing, and I'm going to bet that the rest of these rolled up here are more Daily Profit pages so that you can make the Daily Profit. And that's exactly what it is. Barty Crouch Jr. Remembered, A Man on a Mission, or A Man with Great Secret, which is an exclusive by Rhea Skeeter. So you know that's probably a great article to read. And then it's got just other advertisements here all throughout. St. Mungo's opens first unit for non-magicals. Or, sorry, non-humans. So, so that looks like... So I'm not going to go through all of these. I'll kind of flip through and give you the details. So here we have, looks like the games portion. So you have the crossword there, and then I see horoscopes, Aquarius, Pisces. We'll read Pisces, because Pisces is mine. So it says, it isn't just royalty who gets to live happily ever after in fairy tales. Pisces, you have this right as well. The conditions are ripe for attracting a special person into your life. Interesting. Uh, so it has all of the different um, horoscopes there, things like that. On the back, it is Death Notices. Let's, let's see who died in the Wizarding World, why not? Um, so T. Mc, Mc, McFluffin? McFullen? I can't pronounce half their names, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, what else is there? So, Capture the Coin Tapped. So, again, it's. I'm sure this is going to be able to put together and... Uh, make an actual whole uh, daily profit. So we see there, there's Ginny. It says, Holy Head Harpies, UK National League. 
and it has Ginny Weasley, so this is probably after the battle when Ginny took over uh, as the captain of the Holy Head Harpies. But yeah, so uh, we'll right along with the, and this was the last page it looks like, so right along with the Quibbler um, replica, we got a Daily Prophet replica, so you cannot beat that. Uh, we're going to go back to the spoiler card here, which is the last item, and I'm saying it's an item because it looks like the uh, Marauder's Map. So, it opens up just like normal. On the front, it says what the other one says. It says Messrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, Wormtail, Worm, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs are proud to present the Marauder's Map. And then you open it up. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And then... This is what it says. So on it, it says, Welcome to the first ever Muggle Magic Mystery Box. I hope you enjoy all the magic included in this box. One, Weasley Wizard Weezes poster. Two, Weasley Wizard Weezes catalog. Let's say that five times fast. Three, Daily Prophet DIY template. Okay, so it's a template. And it has a tutorial video on how to put it together. So we'll be able to make that into our own Daily Prophet. Number four, Quibbler, fully readable. Number five, Wizard Comic Print. And number six, Skiving Snack Box uh, ad. And it says thank you. And then it has a list to, or a link to all of his social, well not all of them. It's got his YouTube, his Patreon, and his Etsy. So that is everything in this box. It is six items, seven if you count the spoiler card, and there's so much detail, and I mean clearly some time went into this, that it's hard not to count this as an item. So, what are your thoughts on this box? I would love to hear in the comments. Um, my favorite item, hands down, is the Quibbler, um, just because it's awesome to have something that you can imagine them sitting on the Hogwarts Express and reading to and from school. If you like Luna. I do, however, wish maybe there is one where one of the pages is upside down when she was reading it. Just because that would be kind of funny. Um, because she was reading it upside down at one point. Uh, I'm sure once I get the Daily Prophet together that I'll absolutely love that. I love that there are all of the little stories on it so that you can take the time to read it. Same thing with the Quibbler. I will certainly read through all of them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of the box. Uh, I think definitely not having most of these things makes it worth the, the price. The value is there for me personally. Um, it's all paper replicas. Uh, I hope in the next one maybe he'll throw in one of his other replicas, uh, one of the things that he actually makes. Uh, but I would imagine for 300 people, him making these all by hand, that that might be a little bit difficult and that might be why these are mostly paper replicas. I am excited to see what is in the next one. But yeah, guys, let me know what you thought in the comments. What was your favorite item? What was your least favorite item? My least favorite would probably be the this, uh, the advertisement, just because we saw it several times. So it was in the Quibbler. It was in the, um, the product guide. And I think it was somewhere else. Possibly. Maybe not. Uh, just So it was already in here. Uh, this just seemed kind of like an extra item to throw in. But... I'm not mad at it. Um, so for me personally, the value is there. But like I said, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And uh, let me know if you get his next box. And we will open that together. But that's all I have for y'all today. And I will see y'all in the next one.